In this video, I am going to explain epicyclic gate trains. An epicyclic gate train, also known as a planetary gate train or simply planetary gate system, is a gate train consisting of one or more outer gates called planet gates revolving around a central gear or sun gear. Planet gears are mounted on a common arm or carrier which rotates about the sun gear. Epicyclic gear trains are commonly used in applications requiring higher gear ratios in a compact space such as automatic transmissions, robotics and aerospace systems like several uh, use applications will be there. See here the animated uh, uh, gate train. We have seen earlier the, the simple gate train, compound gate train, reverted gate train. So, what is the main difference of those gate trains and this gate train? In those gate trains, all the shafts of the gates are fixed in a position. Whereas here you can see that one shaft is moving with respect to the another shaft with the help of the arm. Now you can see that this is a simple uh, gate train is connected and these two gates are connected with the arm. So the arm also rotating about the pivot of the one axis of one uh, shaft and another uh, uh, gate is mounted on the another shaft which is mounted on the other end of the arm and that shaft is revolving around the, the fixed shaft. Okay. So, this type of gate train is known as epicyclic gate train. That is the main difference of the ordinary gate train and epicyclic gate train. In epicyclic gate train, one of the shaft is moving with respect to the another shaft. Now, you can see that the another examples of epicyclic gate train. Now, you can see that here there is an angular internal outer wheel and inside there is a simple epicyclic gate train is mounted okay now you can also observe that uh, the outer uh, wheel that is the planet wheel is moving uh, on the uh, sun wheel okay and uh, the planet wheel is meshing with sun wheel and annular wheel so the planet wheel and uh, the annular wheel are rotating in the same direction whereas uh, the sun and uh, the planet wheel in opposite direction now you can see that another uh, uh, important topics. Epicyclic gate trains have a wide range of applications in various industries due to their efficiency, versatility and compact design. Automatic transmissions, we are frequently using these epicyclic gate trains and robotics we are using and aerospace systems a lot of applications will be there and wind turbines also we are using these uh, epicyclic gate trains and industrial machinery several industrial machinery that is a paper cutting machine um, automation automatic machineries and bottle uh, automatic machineries and um, uh, assembly divisions of uh, automobiles we are uh, using these epicyclic gate trains and bicycle hub is also epicyclic gate train these are the several uh, the uh, examples applications of epicyclic gate train now you can see that another example of epicyclic gate train the inner uh, gear is called it as a sun gear outer one is annular wheel in between uh, there is a three uh, small gears are there those call it as a planet wheel okay now you can see that inner wheel is rotating and planet is rotating and outer ring is rotating okay so this is the one example of the complicated type of the gate trains, how we can compactly we are designing and meshing here and it's rotating. Now we will see that another example of epicyclic gate train. This is also the same similar to the sun wheel, outer ring wheel and the planet wheel. Okay. Now you can see that here the sun wheel and planet wheels are fixed. And only the annular wheel is rotating. You can see that annular wheel is rotating. And that axis here, the axis of uh, these uh, planet wheels and sun wheels are rotating same axis. And outer uh, wheel is rotating. 
Now you can see is most of the frequently used to this uh, gate line. What is this gate line? This gate line is known as a differential unit. Most of the automobiles are using this differential unit. Generally in the rear wheels automobiles we are using the this differential unit and this uh, differential unit is consist of uh, these uh, uh, bevel gears and uh, and uh, um, these two subaxles are mounted separately with the help of this arm okay, that is uh, this handler wheel is rotating now you can see that whenever vehicle is uh, wants to move in a straight path it's uh, both wheels are rotating the same direction and the same speed whenever vehicle wants to rotate uh, take a turn towards right or towards left in those cases inner wheels and outer wheels are not uh, cover the same radius of curvature inner wheels covers the less radius of curvature and outer wheels covers the more radius of curvature so for getting this different radius of curvature uh, but the input speed of the propeller shaft is same so inner wheels wants to move less outer wheel wants to move more so this difference will distribute by this device that is called that's why you call it as a it's a differential unit for example inner wheel is reduced by 10 rpm outer wheel is increased by 10 rpm so that the vehicle having the pure rolling while taking the turning in such cases we are using these uh, um, planetary gates or epicyclic gates or you can see that the simulation you can easy to understand how it will be functioning Okay, like that, the, the such of examples are uh, used in this epicyclic gate drive. I hope everyone understand what is the epicyclic gate drive. We will see the problems in the next video.